Hey YouTube, time to get this piece of junk and this old game onto a Mac. Hey YouTube, back again. Now, what you first want to do is go into the App Store. Now, wait for this thing to load. Come on already. Well, we have a rent. We don't need it to load. Now type in the. Now the unarchiver should come up. Click that. Okay. Now for this app, the unarchiver utilities four and a half stars. You're going to install this thing. So this will help you. Okay, so now after you install that, it should appear in your launch pad. Back over here. But you don't, don't like click it or anything, you don't need to. Now go into Safari, I'd recommend. Now type in the first link or click it. Which should be dolphinemulator.com. This is the emulator. Now, I'm going to be doing this for GameCube. You can do Wii on here, but and I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I think you need torrents, which I don't like. Now, download the most recent one for Mac OS X. If you're doing this on a Windows computer, it would work too, but I haven't tested that. So just click download. Now to download the file, click here. You don't need this extra page. Now we'll wait. Should be a pretty quick download. This isn't going to take a while. Well, more time is coming for every second. Okay, this will be quick. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. Boom shakalaka, the thing is downloaded. Okay, now it should be this one. Double click that. We'll be verifying. Finishing. Now you should get a picture of a guy holding a peace sign, setting dolphin under it. And now this is the application. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to need that. Eject that fake flash drive and you can just I'll just throw away that okay now you should download ROMs now <coughs> and go to the second link emuparadise.me you may have seen that in my other video about Mario now ROMs ISOs and games consoles GCN GameCube Nintendo should be other the other way around Nintendo GameCube now pick a ROM we're gonna do Super Smash Bros first to test it now most of these ROMs do not work apparently Legend of Zelda Wind Waker doesn't work which really upset me because I like that game but now I'd recommend you only download games that you have for legal purposes. So we're gonna download. Dark download. Now you could pay money to do it, but I'm like Mr. Krabs, so I'm not gonna do that. Now when you start to click that, it'll start downloading. And this will take a pretty long time. It's like a gigabyte of space, so you have to have a lot of space. And I'll come back to you when this is about done. Okay, so now we're back and my file finished downloading. I just dragged it onto the desktop. It should be called Super Smash Brothers Melee. And it should be a RAR file. So now what you want to do is press control, hit it, open with the unarchiver. 
and then it will extract all the files which is needed to play this game shouldn't be too long, a few seconds okay almost ready hmm. okay now it should make a folder now click the first one and click the bottom box one. Do not click the, these two papers because like they're not files for the game. They just like tell you stuff. Now open with control click it again the unarchiver. Now this stuff will pop up and it's just gonna extract some files now we're only gonna wait for this first one because if you wait for all of them it'll take too long and you don't need to wait for them so wait for it to extract this is the final step by the way and it will eventually need to be patient in this game It's extracting a lot of data, trust me. Boom. Now you could just X out these others because you don't need them after you got one. They just take too long. Now this will pop up. Let's go continue. Da, da, da. No, then okay. Now at the bottom, this is the first one we downloaded. That'll be our ROM. Don't worry about these. These are the ones that just parts of it downloaded now drag this onto your desktop and this will be the ROM file no I don't need it since I already have it but yeah now click emulators and click on dolphin and now let's configure some settings this is very important now copy these settings with these settings this should run pretty quickly da, da, da. make sure port 1 is standard controller this is very important and make sure slot A is memory card that saves everything and this is Wii for example we don't need pads now graphics Da, 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 da. And yeah, now GC pad. These are just the settings. I don't know how to really change them, but does it matter? Yes, please. This is just the same thing we just did. Okay. Now I put everything in folders, so yours might come up if you have them on the desktop. But click open. Now emulators and ROMs. Now I made a folder called GameCube ROMs. And these are all my games. Now we're going to find Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. Melee. Now should be an ISO file. Click that. Or it could be the other blue one. This is just a different one. But click it. That should be kind of glitchy at first. Now this is the start screen. Press start. All the buttons are pretty self-explanatory. But X is A and Z is B. That's all you really need to know. One player. Regular match. Classic. This game runs pretty quickly on a Mac. And the graphics are just really good. I still need to unlock Mewtwo, Falco, and Mr. Game Watch. Now let's be Lim, because he's awesome. Make him a different color. 
Let's make him red. They're very easy. The controls are kind of hard. Hard to play on a Mac. Okay, let's kick this guy's butt. Oh yeah. Get this flower. Okay, so the controls are kind of hard. You, I heard you can buy like an Xbox controller to play it, but I don't know. I just set that up. So the keyboard's fun though to play. Ooh, a Pokeball. Wonder what Pokemon's gonna come out of that. Let's finish this guy off. And yeah, that's basically how this game runs. Now, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, favorite, and tell your friends about this video. Thanks. Bye.